Erwin Rommel was a field marshal who fought on the German side in World War I and World War II. In this video, I'll take quotes from his war memoir, Infantry Attacks, and apply them to Elden Ring invasions. Under certain circumstances, it is advisable to furnish a light machine gun for fire support. In this clip, I began this invasion with the Iron Cleaver, which is not a bad close range option, but it really lacked any chase down potential for a retreating phantom. Luckily, I had the pulley crossbow offhand, which is great for mid range at taking down retreating enemies. I considered it inadvisable to continue the march or to attack without awaiting the arrival of supporting units. So I found the blue in a room by himself and thought this is a good chance to fight. But the host quickly shows up behind me and it becomes a 2v1. Now, just because you can fight a 2 or 3v1 doesn't mean you should. I knew that there's either mobs around that can help me or better positioning in the dungeon. So I chose to run away in this instance. To avoid giving our position to the enemy, I withheld all reconnaissance forward and decided to rely on keen visual observation. Now the quote here doesn't reflect what I did, but what I should have done. I ran around the corner and I gave away my position here. But luckily I was cautious and backed away and swapped weapons to something more suitable to fighting multiple enemies. I hoped to find a favorable field of fire and to use the open ground to establish contact rapidly with my neighbor on the right. So I knew that the mobs were here and this was great ground to get in a lot of damage. Even though I didn't end up eliminating any enemies at this position, it was a good opportunity to keep them at bay and not let them rest. Should the company move forward, or should the advance guard retire? Since it was a question of asserting ourselves against a powerful superiority, the latter appeared to be the best thing to do. The host and the two blues began to get the better of the mobs here, and it quickly turned to being an even fight into me at a disadvantage and outnumbered again. So it was time to move again, move continuously always be changing positions when it's no longer advantageous to hold one. Attack the enemy, disorganize him, and then withdraw. Supplies of all classes were our next problem. Ammunition, material, and provisions. All of that heavy fire and chaotic attacks burned through all of my flasks, so I had to get away and use some raw meat dumplings to keep the fight going. As always, the number one rule in invasions is resource management. The spread of panic among the whole brigade resulted in our capture of the entire position. Finally, after several minutes, my pattern of attack, retreat, attack, retreat threw off the blues enough to where they got distracted and one of them while engaged with me caught this fire pot from the NPC for the last hit. He wins who fires first and can deliver the heaviest fire. This was my time to be as aggressive as possible while I still had this one knight helping me. While the enemy was fatigued and the ground was pretty much even. The nearness of the enemy left no time for reloading nor was any shelter close at hand. There was no use thinking of escape. After what seemed like forever, the mage ran out of FP, and he didn't switch it up to melee and aggress me or retreat in time. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and let me know what you thought in the comments. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.